watches what seems like a normal flight filming for the new show Double Long Outdoors suddenly goes horribly wrong. You can see things go downhill quickly as a gust of wind catches the helicopter's rotors. Look again from another angle. The chopper just barely misses those power lines before it smashes down, landing on its side in rural New Mexico last week. Remarkably, the three-person television crew on board captures the entire harrowing incident on camera from three angles. We hit the ground, skid a little bit, and the helicopter rolled over. Help me, please. The pilot and passengers all survive, but two of them are trapped in the back of the overturned chopper. Relax, take a deep breath. That's the voice of producer Jaron Deddy, a former law enforcement officer, calming his fellow passengers as he pulls them from the wreckage. My objective just went into um, kind of crisis management mode. My hand, my hand. But the show's host, Betty Lou Laycock, is stuck, her hand pinned between the helicopter and the ground. Jaron stepped in there and he lifted it up and my hand came out just that quick. A third passenger, video editor Shane Yamamoto, is the last to be rescued from the wreck. You can just tell he's in excruciating pain. I get his, get underneath of him, pick him up, I pop his seatbelt off and lower him to the ground. Three members of another television crew were killed when their helicopter crashed in California last February. Amazingly, this television crew suffered very few injuries, only a concussion, some broken ribs, and a broken knuckle. Uh, we all made it through. It was just a huge reality check. Hey, you know, it could happen anytime. And while they didn't get the footage they planned to shoot, they captured something even more compelling, their moment of survival. For Good Morning America, John Muller, ABC News, New York. That other crash, such a reminder of how close mm -hmm. this was. And Double Long Outdoors wrote on their Facebook page last week that the footage for the show would be phenomenal. And it certainly was. It's also very, very terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. So we're glad they're okay.